Hi everyone, welcome back to the Spring Security Tutorial. This is the continuation of the previous video. In case if you missed the previous video, make sure to watch the previous video. The link will be given in the description section of this video. Alright, now let's come back to the today's video. In this video, we are going to create a REST endpoint for login API. Let's look at the development steps. So the first step is to create an authentication manager bean. Inside the configuration class, we are going to create a bean for authentication manager. This is the one which will help us to authenticate the user. Inside the MySecurity config, we are going to override the method authentication manager bean. This will return the authentication manager object and we will add the bean annotation. The second step is to create a REST endpoint for login API. Inside the home controller, first we are going to auto wire the authentication manager and we will create a method login and we will add the annotation post mapping and we will provide the URI slash login. This method will accept the user model as a parameter. We will make use of the request body annotation. Inside this, we are going to make use of the authentication manager to call the authenticate method. This authenticate method accepts the authentication object. The authentication object is actually an interface. The implementation class is username password authentication token. To this, we are going to pass the email address and the password. This authenticate method will return the authentication object back. Once we receive the authentication object, we need to set it to the security context holder. So we will make use of the security context holder and we will get the context and we will set the authentication object. To this, we will pass the authentication object that we received. If something happens, if the user credential is not correct, then we will throw the exception saying credentials invalid and we will return the response entity HTTP status OK. Alright, let's jump to the STS IDE and write a code for this. I'm inside the STS IDE. Let's open the configuration class, my security config and inside this, first of all, we are going to add the URI which is slash login. So these two endpoints are the public endpoints. So anyone can access these two endpoints. Of course, this slash login we haven't created. We are going to create that in just a bit. Let's override the method authentication manager bean and we will add the bean annotation. So this will return the authentication manager object. Save this and let's open the home controller. Inside this, first of all, we need to auto wire the authentication manager authentication manager let's call this authentication manager auto wire this and we will create a rest endpoint let me create some white space public this will return the response entity of HTTP status HTTP status Let's call this login. We will add the annotation post mapping and we will provide the URI slash login. This login method accepts the user model request body user model. Let's call this user model. And inside this, we are going to create the authentication object. We're going to create an instance of the authentication object authentication Let's call this authentication and inside the try catch block, we are going to call the method. We will make use of the authentication manager to call the authenticate object. If you look at this, this authenticate method accepts the authentication object. This authentication object is an interface and we need to provide the implementation class. The implementation class is username password authentication token new username password authentication token and to this we will pass the email address and password get email let's get the password as well user model dot get password let's bring this to the next line Next, once we get the authentication object, this will return the authentication object. Let's 
store that in the authentication object once we receive the authentication object we need to set it to the context holder security context holder dot get context dot set authentication to this we will set the authentication object and inside the catch block let's throw the exception we are going to throw the bad credential exception bad credential expect exception throw new exception we will pass the message invalid credential and at last we need to return the response entity new response entity we will return the http status so http status dot ok which is 200 we need to add the throws declaration let's add this and save the file all right so our application is ready now let's go ahead and test the api let's go to the postman and enter the url local host colon 8080 slash uh, we have the login api now but before go to the login let's try to access the dashboard the moment we click on this send we get a message unauthorized so let's register a new account register this will be of post mapping go to the body choose raw select json and provide the email which is let's say ram at gmail.com password one two three four five and the moment we click on this send we get a new user back and now the user has been created but if i go to the register dashboard again the moment we click on this send still we get the unauthorized because the user has not yet logged in now the user will log in set this to post and click send the user has been logged in 200 okay now if the user try to access the dashboard which is a get mapping click send we do get the message you are seeing the dashboard contents awesome so now we have created the rest endpoint for login api and it is in place now that's it for this video i will see you in the next video